me just that's say. your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. You got the breathing, dude. Is am I still doing it? Y yeah. But yeah, and I tried to like find a silver lining. It's funny they're like <laughs> busting my balls for breathing poorly, but that is literally the worst fault a human can have. Bad at breathing. Breathing is like the only verb gerund that is synonymous with living <laughs> and i can't do that you, you couldn't yeah I'm dude in my 20s and like we get away with a lot like the the polyps are like super forgiving but like they it does they do start and rightfully so to get annoyed when we put out a podcast you can't hear yeah and i understand that i get that i get mm -hmm. that one and i'll take the blame on that one with it we get we get away with a lot how but. does that f fucking happen <laughs> <laughs> Every time we are so bad, <laughs> we are, dude. Uh, we're like, uh, like we're. I like to think we're damn near batting. We're our winning percentage at home is like nine hundred, but away, get how? <laughs> how? <laughs> the tech is, dude. Dude, that you can interview people on the International Space Station and it's crystal clear. I was about to get on a helicopter to experience the most breathtaking, serene unforgettable and best experience moment of my life and i like see the podcast was unlistenable virtually. <laughs> and i'm like i guess it's fine like people still don't care uh, yeah to an a, pod a podcast uh should you should be able to hear it yeah and i should should be hyper focused on breathing. No, you shouldn't be hyper focused something... on breathing, dude. That's the exact opposite of what you should be on. I know. Breathing. This is something that i've been doing all my life ad nauseum something out something's go down outside sirens yeah um today it's the episode omen, 307 it's a harbinger it's a, a 308 three, is it 307 no because 306 was saskatchewan's area code 307 wyoming fuck oh the whole state the whole state cheyenne mm. casper green river laramie cody mm. wind river okay what's the nickname of the state Yado, Yado, Cowboys. Ca or that was I believe it's the Kendall Jenner. Quality Kendall Jenner was just there in Wyoming. And just had had a shirt that said the Cowboys. Was it Yado? What is French? I love uh, Yado. I I don't know. Well, then what's what's Amour? Is that Italian? It's love. Okay. Um, today's episode, of course, brought to you boy, brought to you by uh, the boys at Game Time. Mm -hmm. uh game time is a ticketing app makes it much easier to score last minute tickets and deals feels mm -hmm. like a complete it feels like a scam, scam. from start to finish <laughs> which <laughs> from, is a from hard adding, mental barrier to get over but once you do you're like i got a great and deal. you say from start to finish as if it's a long process it's picking out the game adding it to your cart, no you'll, you'll experience the entire event at its best yeah and you'll still be like, this is a scam. Like, what's going to happen? I'm going to leave this arena, this venue. Yeah, and what, I'm what, going to what's happening? Am I going to come back? Is my, is my house going to be robbed? Mm -hmm. Traffic to Malaysia. That's was, how good game time is, that it's virtually impossible for even, like, the smarter humans in the world to 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 understand. Yeah, yeah. And you guys can use the app and use code UNTOLD at checkout for $20 they off. They reached out to us. They were like, please stop, like, mm -hmm. equating us to, like, um, like scalpers. Like fraud. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I, that's what you are to me. <laughs> so shout out to them. Big shout out to them. Uh, I'll get them. I'll figure out what they're doing eventually. Yeah. Uh, Complete. For, it has to be like felonious. We, uh, we were talking two podcasts ago because, I mean, we could have been talking about it last podcast. You wouldn't have known. Um, the news has become damn near unsustainable. It's really fucking hard to do um no wednesdays shows that wednesdays well, happen so often and today's tuesday yeah, but, but yeah for the sake for the sake yeah um the when the, wednesdays happen a ton so often and as soon as you put the episode out you can't even like enjoy it you got to start again and i'm I should, not we're bitching not complaining I'm not complaining not complaining but i have fucking nothing okay finally because i you good i have yeah. something yeah what 
Oh, that, and just let out a tuna noise. or chicken salad, KB. Can you smell that? This? Are you sick? Yeah, I think so. Tyler just hopping. We have a food catered and this is foul. Who would order this? Uh, Owen did, and he's oh fuck. Oh, he's sick. <laughs> oh geez, what is this? <laughs> I uh, knew you had something, but I. S oh, it's wet. Let's get into the news, Kyle. Uh, it has become unsustainable. Like uh, shows that do a similar segment to this, shows that have copied us, uh, that started sixty years before us. Um, <laughs> uh, I, they have full teams of people, so mm -hmm. cut us some slack here. Yeah, it's not like. Huh. Yeah, um, it could be worse. Could be worse. Could be harder. Could be. Good. Could be easier. Like we're ranking our favorite childhood snacks. <laughs> 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 so, um, yeah, that would that'd be a mental burden yeah yeah on a weekly basis i remember when we first started these i was like these fucking things write themselves nah I, I, these are uh no yeah I, the leaps and bounds and stretches i like made to get to the punchline mm -hmm. are like almost the you'll be fatigued you're gonna forget where i started by the time i get to the punchline All right it's okay uh justice minister in mali plans to make homosexuality a crime. When asked what gays in Mali should do before the law passes, the justice minister, Kasogi, said they should leave this country now. They should leave. They should leave. They should leave. They should leave. For somebody who hates gay culture, he sure is obsessed with shoes. <laughs> Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> See, I'm straight. I'm straight as fuck. I personally hate it when tatas leave my mouth. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bullets fly outside of New York City's iconic St. Patrick's Cathedral after a card game. What the hell? I thought only rock, paper, and scissors ended with shoot. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, see, yep. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. <laughs> Julia Morrison, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend uh, of Army Hammer, released a text that pushed her over the edge, saying it was uh, the reason she left Army. Oh no! <laughs> I think I have the same one worded differently. <laughs> text forcing you to leave? That's like when Kyle sees a height requirement in line for a roller coaster. <laughs> Misdirection, dickhead. <laughs> that one, yeah, you got me. yeah, I got you. I did the uh, ladder. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> left army. <laughs> yeah. No, nope, kidding. <laughs> uh, Apple has announced they're removing old apps from the App Store unless they update within 30 days. One developer said she has had three of her games taken off the store in one day. Three app endages. That reminds me of how you would describe Hawaiian pro surfer Bethany Hamilton. <laughs> Deaf actress Rose Ailing Ellis said, I am disabled because I live and work in a world that disables me. It's empowering. Uh, the deaf actress is on the rise right now. She is set to star in the BBC Doctor Who spinoff. Doctor what? <laughs> that was my least believable joke I've ever made. Uh, I should have said she was starring in Nurse What. <laughs> As an actress. Well, I'll save that. Yeah. Lizzo claps back after being body shamed by Aries Spears. The last time Lizzo attacked Spears, she beat Pat Buratelli, world record Vlasic pickle eater, who put down three pounds... In six minutes. Jeez. It's the last time she attacked some spears. Aries is, <laughs> Aries is also the birth sign for those born in March. March is the speed we will have to walk to escape Lizzo's wrath. She can only saunter. Lizzo does win in the end. She is the best-selling African-American artist since Destiny's Child. Uh... Best-selling female African-American artist mm. since Destiny's Child. Lizzo says she sees a trio as an inspiration. Oh, no. She also sees trios when she stands on a scale as she weighs 1,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> One ton. <laughs> Aries' career, he has no room to talk. His career is in limbo. Oh. Limbos are probably the favorite cereal of that 14-foot tiger shark that devoured surfer <laughs> Bethany Hamilton's left arm. Limbo. Limbo. 
<laughs> Boy, I was. Oh, it's tough. Fire. It's tough to do uh, early. It's tough week. out here. <laughs> it's tough out here for the <laughs> news. <laughs> uh, oh, Kyle, shit. you have any? Here, come. Uh, yeah. We only have half a. We we lost our yeah, half switch, of our green screen seats. budget. You switch gotta come seats. over here. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Oh, we got a uh, we got Mook in studio as Mook's well. Mook's here. Yeah, he's been here. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but I, this is the first time we acknowledged him. We know yeah, we know he's uh, been here, Kyle. I can only acknowledge him if it's like for a, a video. Sure. Yeah. What do you got? Oh, the, you were wearing these. These just aren't on. They aren't. Now I heard you. <laughs> no, you, you, no you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Not through the head. We're adjacent to each other. <laughs> yeah, they didn't work. I heard you fine. Yeah, I get. I guess you're exactly right. I don't know why I get nervous oh, before shit. you do yours. Oh my god! I don't want you to embarrass me. I guess. One good one. We're good. Well, you have one good one. I got one good breath, and we're good. Okay, <laughs> just one good breath. Oh, yeah, dude. People were genuinely concerned about you. No, and I am too, by association, I guess. You're worried about you by association? Yeah, secondhand. <laughs> like I saw people like worrying about me. I'm like, yeah, if other people who don't know me are worried about my like s- like survival but, capabilities. But you know you better than they do. I don't but know. you're letting them sway you? I've been trial and erroring my like life and internal organs for the past year. <laughs> what error have you hit? What? Nothing. <laughs> Read your fucking news. No, we'll talk yeah. about it later. My shit is like sticking to the porcelain, not like it sti- is. It's not sticking. It is molding to the porcelain. And I went like out of my way to like take like thick cloths to it and like try to scrape Buy it off. A toilet brush. The the wait, the, my, whoa, whoa, whoa. my you sh- wait you went and bought thick cloths no, as opposed like, to I mean, a not like a toilet? paper towel instead of toilet paper. But why not? And no, I was like scrubbing Kyle, it Kyle, you to don't the point use... where my fingernail was like pretty much touching the poop through the, and well, I was scraping. Buy a toilet brush. Yeah, no, I'll get to that. <laughs> um, Did you get it off? No, it's some of it. College football is back. That yeah, is. Thank God. Yeah. Uh-huh. A reason to live on the weekends. It's true. Yeah. It's honestly true. It's like a good vibe all around, especially in like colder climates when it starts to get warmer or cooler. Yeah. Like an ideal temperature and you get to enjoy the Saturdays like 10 times over because of the games. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And yeah. And I'm, I will get into betting once I get my money right. The biggest game of the week and perhaps the whole season is, of course, fifth ranked Notre Dame. Mm-hmm taking on number two, Ohio State. But it seems like it's hard to call it that big of a game with the spread at 17 and a half points in favor of the Buckeyes. Oh, yeah. Two versus five. That's insane. Yeah. Spread spread at 17 and a half? Oh, no. That's my favorite Seinfeld quote. <laughs> <laughs> the 17 and a half spread is what famed comedian and sitcom actor Jerry Seinfeld calls birthday sex. <laughs> it's a regional dialect thing. Yeah, yeah. In New York. It's a New York thing. Mm-hmm. Wake Forest minus 32 against a gutsy FCS contender in the VMI Cadets. Oh, yeah. Out of Lexington, Virginia. Mm-hmm. I don't know much about either of these squads, but if I had to place a pick, I would go off of their alma maters. VMI. Our Air Force General John P. Jumper. Never heard of him. Yeah. Marine Corps General Randolph McCall Pate. Couldn't tell you one thing he did. No. Wake Forest, on the other hand, has a rich history of producing some of the biggest stars in all facets of sports. Arnold Palmer and Tim Duncan are both alums. Yeah. Muggsy Bogues was a demon deacon. Yeah. Chris Paul went to Wake Forest. Sure. Logan Paul did the opposite. Although he claimed he attempted to Wake Forest but had no luck despite how loud and obnoxious he was. (laughs) He didn't know a Wake Forest was an option. It would have been a better bet on the Barstool Sportsbook. Yeah, man. A legendary in-state battle is happening this weekend in the land of Lincoln with the Eastern Illinois Panthers taking on the Northern Illinois Huskies. It's a classic fight between cats and dogs. 
The gambling spread has the Panthers as six point underdogs. But the Nutella spread has the Huskies as six foot underdogs. <laughs> Yeah. God damn. This is what we're getting. To. This is it. This is the show now, man. This is what we've become. <laughs> oh, if you that if you think that took leaps. No, no, this no. one like a story. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just, all right. I gotta actually like prepare my breathing for that. With one of the most dashing offenses in the NFL, the Kansas City Chiefs equipment staff is proposing the use of abbreviated or initialized names on some of their players' jerseys, including Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, Hilaire Marquez, Valdez Scantling. Valdez Scantling, and Juju Smith-Schuster. They claim the proposition is simple and harmless. For example, the jerseys would read... Clyde E.H. for Edward Zelaire, Marquez V.S. for Valdez Scantling, and for Smith Schuster, the S.S. would just come after a couple Jews. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> army to immediately start discharging vaccine refusers. An army discharge sounds like the stool of a 14 foot tiger <laughs> shark after digesting the ulna of a teen surfer. Get that Bethany out of your way. Hamilton. Uh, some sour news coming out of the sweetest place on earth as the Hershey company was forced to slice 15% of its global workforce, which could mean over 2,000 jobs are in jeopardy. A lot of unfortunate people had to update their LinkedIn pages. But in a shocking and wholesome twist of fate, nearly 50% of them ended up getting higher paying jobs almost immediately after they took her, she out of their bio. Fuck yeah. That's it. Fuck yeah, dude. All right. <laughs> Swap. No, no, uh, Mook needs to do Oh, some fuck yeah. Oh, man. Dude, I mean, you're a really smart guy. Master's degree. Yes, yes. Well spoken, educated. And then, like, do you think your peak was a Nutella joke? <laughs> that was it. That was the, the one. <laughs> okay, so the betting is called a, 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 sp a point spread. But uh, what no, other? <laughs> the, the exercise and the, the discipline and the stamina it took to complete that was disgusting. <laughs> the Nutella uh, amazing. spread. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right. Uh, you got to give up your seat to, to Mook. I'll scoot over one. Is this mic on? Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's, uh, just a weird... that's fine. I'm not going to go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back, Mook. What's going on? Mook, Happy to be Mook, back. Mook. <laughs> Mook, Mook. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of DMs just saying Mook, Mook. <laughs> Good. Yeah. And then also a lot of DMs asking uh girls to show Nick uh you know like questions. Girls asking me questions. Yeah, I sent you a couple like fan mails. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. None, show none him for, questions. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, show Nick. Show, show, show Nick this question. He's gotta I, see this question. I, I not answer not. it. Just show <laughs> it to him. He would love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Did, didn't phrase that one correctly. You but. gotta check out this question. Um don't I, answer it. No. Nah. News time? <laughs> what? News time? I think so. Okay. We, we can we can get to it. <laughs> we could. Yeah. Or yeah, go ahead. Are you still living in Philadelphia? Yes. Despite having this role? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um <clears throat> this is a long one. I had the same struggles as you guys. Oh yeah. Addison Ray's mom, Sherry Easterling, 42 years old, was seen kissing rapper Young Gravy. 26 years old at the VMAs on Sunday. The internet went crazy about their age difference as they watched Gravy take down a much older woman. Another old person letting Gravy play with their heart? You'd think Sherry would have learned a lesson after Gravy played a large part in stopping Italian actor James Gandolfini's heart oh, in 2013. Oh, that's going to cut Kyle deep. No, that is that's so true. He was, he was a legitimate glutton and he would eat all of his meals on set as that they were that displayed. That boy was eating too much gravy. I was trying... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, you ate too much gravy. Way too much. You, yeah, I think that's what killed him. Okay, I have another dead person one, so I'll rip that. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah. yeah um, R.I.P. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers went on the Joe Rogan experience and told Rogan he played NFL games on Percocets. A quarterback on Percocets? If only rapper Juice World cut oh. a quarterback on Perks, maybe he wouldn't have OD'd. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yep, there's yep, fire. That's a, that's fire. A, that's a, yeah. two, I'm too dead. Two, two, two dead. Two dead. Okay. You got, you, you could, yeah. We have a two dead, one alive rule. So yeah. the next joke, is it a, a living... Mm. Yeah, I, can, I feel I can like there has to be a sweet can, spot where they can't still be releasing songs posthumously, which Juice <laughs> World is, but fine with it. I think, okay. This guy's definitely alive or could be dead. Um, Game of Thrones released their new series, House of the Dragon. Mm. The most recent episode depicted the king, Viserys, having to pick between marrying a 12 or 15 year old. When reporters asked Viserys why he chose the 15-year-old over the 12-year-old, he said, fuck 12, all go gold cloaks are bastards. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Great show. Yeah, 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 yeah. good yeah. show. You really are from show. Philly, too, I could tell. Yeah. 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 I yeah. fucked up the gold That fuck 12 was right. natural, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck 12, all my homies say 12, bro. Yeah. So. Northeast side. Pretty much. Um, I got one more. I think one or two. There's one really shaky one. Shaky one or the one that I think's better? Both? Shaky as in like offensive? Uh, <laughs> shaky physically and joke uh, Michael J. Fox? Yeah, so the, yeah, these also. <laughs> Wait, is this Michael J? No. Uh, you're close though. We can't like, no, put, yeah, get, the, get all of them out because right. like that's what we're doing. <laughs> wait, we wait, can't wait. Make this... Who else has Parkinson's? Just Michael J. Fox. No, no. Somebody, Ozzy Osbourne does. I think. Makes sense. I meant shaky physically. You'll Dizzy. see what I mean. Earthquake. Shaky physically? Yeah. So, yeah. It works, but it's not it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Rams defensive star Aaron Donald came out swinging two helmets at Bengals players in a joint practice. When reporters asked head coach Sean McVay if the two helmet incident could potentially swing defensive player of the year and MVP voters, he commented, I haven't seen two things like that swing voters in the right direction since Sydney Sweeney's MAGA titties. <laughs> <laughs> Topical. Topical. And uh, last one. Season two of Surviving Barstool is back streaming on YouTube. Twelve personalities are competing to see who can survive Barstool. Surviving a Barstool? That's pussy shit. Try surviving a 14-foot tiger shark attack <laughs> like soul surfer Bethany Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We had a meeting today with Kelly Martin, who gets books our guest, and we asked if we could get Bethany Hamilton. Yeah, and she, 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 yeah. she said that would be a tough, tough get. She was yeah. surprisingly, like, receptive of everything we said except for that. Yeah. Yeah, what did, who did I proposition? You propositioned Joseph Gordon-Levitt. <laughs> no, I used him as an example of the level of humor I want on this podcast. Oh, I thought I don't I want not, clashing. Not I don't want clashing like. comedians. I want someone like, yeah, between like him and Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah, she's completely unfunny. He's mid-range funny. Yeah, yeah, that's. I think that's good. Oh, do you have any? Uh, no, Tyler had a video. Oh, you have Sorry. a video? Right. Tyler has a lot to get off his chest. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, he you, does. Is that safe for um, to put on? Here, Mook, you can take the wheelless chair over here if you want. So yeah, it's, ground, it's, it's tough to sit in. Dude, I'm so glad to be back from that Alaska trip. Yes and no, but it you can't even complain about it. No, I can't. It's the flight because, like, you know that bothers me so fucking much. I was in... I was so calm there i went to a therapist for flight anxiety and the dude was like you need to get to the airport early i was like i do he was like well not that early but you need to go sit down don't drink and look for kids i'm like what and he was like you see parents bringing their kids there and you're like chemically the most protective thing you could be as a parent to a child and if they feel comfortable bringing their kid to an airport like just don't just do it and so i like but well, i was prescribed to look at children which is decent advice. Yeah, it is. But like, you look at all these like toddlers who are fine. They're perfectly fine. So my, I'm just, yeah, like my counterpoint would be like they they don't have the brain capabilities to understand any type of danger. It's the parent really though. So you see parents comfortable enough to bring kids there. Right. Yeah. So uh, I'm prescribed boy gazing. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, deed. I'll make sure. I'll, I'll keep an eye on you. And make sure. <laughs> no, you've been yeah. you've been stealing my prescription <laughs> nah, nah, out nah, of my cabinet, nah, dude. No, I yeah, haven't, dude. Have. No, I fucking haven't. <laughs> Steal your prescription? I don't even know. Where is it? I don't even know where to look. <laughs> yeah, you do. What did? It wasn't down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I just want a parent to confront me. I'm just like, no, no, no. That'd be a good excuse. Yeah, I'm prescri- prescribed. No one's ever I used I prescribed that? your boy. Spacey's never used that? I was like trying to think of like a pit. Pitt's minus seven against WVU. Like pit seven. But pit was in seven. I don't know. Yeah, I could. I could. It's like, well, yeah, just wasting it's, my time, and I'm like always reading them aloud in my head, and like yep. I'm, and people are looking at me. I'm talking to myself in public. The first time I read them aloud is here, so that's always an issue because I, I have a lot of them that would probably work better unsaid, not yeah. read completely, just unsaid. Right? Yeah, that's how it is. Oh, oh, sheesh. Um. Dude, I uh, I camped out at a McDonald's, brand new constructed, to if first 100 got free McDonald's for a year at WVU on the Evansdale campus. Me and my buddy Bradley Fields, which the whole time in college, he was Bradley Fields. And then when we graduated, he told me his last name was Ellis. And I was like, why'd you tell me your last name was Fields? He was like, oh. But uh, anyways, I camped out with him. He had a tent. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah. And, uh, so we were like, oh, oh, we're like so close. Like we're going, I've got, I was going to get free McDonald's for a year. Freshman in college. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, like three tents in front of us. It's like the McDonald's opens up and just like, it was like a clown car of tents and just like 30 people walked out of this little tent and we were like one sixtieth. Yeah, that's bullshit. Oh, I what, are, what are they up to? Well, I mean, it probably was just fine. McDonald's for yeah. a year. They're pr- pr- probably fine. If I won free McDonald's for a year, I don't think I'd eat at McDonald's more. The same amount. I mean, yes. not like <laughs> no like poverty shaming, but I'm going to eat generally what I want to eat. Sure. Sands like the most expensive dish. Like if- I would I would put I would help take care of my boys. I would take you guys uh, whenever you want. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we're really struggling for uh, like topics. Uh, my notes just has uh, the divot. On my above my lip has just been sweating a lot. I've noticed that. <laughs> have you actually? <laughs> that was in your notes. Did you have any like bullet points to no. go off of that, like a potential punchline? No, dude. Look, I just have <laughs> no. That yeah, last I'm line. Glad, like we don't have to joke about doctor prescribed looking at boys' divot. Doctor prescribed looking at boys' divot between lip sweat. Those are the two <laughs> things I've talked about on this podcast. You didn't break them up properly. I don't. Bre- I, they're oh, yeah. broken up by episode. Oh, divot. Okay. <laughs> but like usually, I have about a paragraph of things that I like to talk about. The filtrum. I think it's called the filtrum, mm. but I'm glad I have one because if you don't, big, it's incest. Yeah, big sign of fetal alcohol syndrome. Oh yeah, and the yours, Hasbro yours jaw. is shallow. No I don't diving have in any yours, hair. Dude. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't either. Why? Why do? I, yeah, you don't either. But it's mine's. But it's, it's filled with sweat. I don't know why. As soon as I turn thirty, this and uh, what else should I be prepared for? Yeah, it's sneaking up on you. Um, I have heartburn all the time. Aside from like the, I have like either. four Pepsids a day. I don't, I saw I don't t- have heartburn. I don't Dude, even know if I is. can meet the inventor of Pepsid, I will suck his dick. Or if I could, if it was invented by a woman, I'll suck her husband's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsid. I'll yeah. Look it up. Well, it's pretty, it's over the counter. You don't really, it's not something you have to look up. I don't think. You're going to go to the it, Wikipedia for Pepsid. It and, wasn't a, yeah. No, but now it's, nothing's changed other than my upper lip. Feel it. Damp. Always. You feel it and then t- touch my, oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's always and like I'll, I walked home from work like three mile walk dry 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 s- dr- dripping I don't fucking know yeah that would like concern me I'm pissed yeah it's so I'm fucking fine annoying. with any symptom unless it's completely unfamiliar then I freak out even if it's just completely mundane like that it, it, you should freak out about I'm that. freaking out about it I would rather <laughs> pass I would rather pass blood than have this because uh-huh. pass blood that happens to everybody yeah yeah no if anybody is like a, a doctor or something can reach out uh mook you went to a card show i was super fucking jealous you have a mic yeah be i careful. do now yeah i went to like a card a trading show. card yeah i got a present for nick uh, i bought some cards myself and uh yeah it's fun you guys got to come to one one time I would love to. Uh, we that's do one a video of the things one. I do get the appeal of it. It's card collecting, it even seems, Pokemon. Yeah, it seems fun. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it does lose the fun when like 
you can just buy whatever card you want. No, whenever I look at like one of the holographic Pokemon cards, I the that like thrill holds up. Ooh, so there's I, a gloom. Second favorite Pokemon. Cum faced gloom. Not cum faced for Nikki over here. It's his second favorite. Second favorite Pokemon. I Is asked it really. Him, what's it called? Gloom. Gloom. Here, take and a that's cum faced. Well, it, it looks like it's oozing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not. It's precisely. precisely like it uses that. it. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's, it's it uses it for fertilizer. Okay, but um, I asked Nick mint. for his top five Pokemon, and he sent me a tier list that is gigantic. Every single Pokemon. You've done this, yeah. Oh yeah, for your own fun. Yeah. So some I I tweeted it at Big Cat too because they ranked the Pokemon on the Yak, mm -hmm. and I was actually kind of embarrassed afterwards. I should have been embarrassed before, but uh, some dude DM me. No, he, yeah, he DM me. He was like. Dude, where can I watch the video of you tearing this? And I was like, <laughs> it was just, it was just for me, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was in my free time. <laughs> and it took hours. As pathetic as it would be to do a video of you tearing hundreds of Pokemon, yeah. like it's more pathetic to do it for your own enjoyment. Yep. Yeah. This. Okay. How about yeah. I get it? Was that about an eight? Fine, yeah. So that's fine a, with that. I don't give a fuck. Oh, it's a gem mint nine. It's a, it's a mint nine. What makes a card mint? So it's centering, it's edges, it's the art, it's the sh it's it's goes into a lot. And this is a PSA slab, yes. which they're uh -huh. they're a lot pickier with grading. So you can scan that, it, and the information on it will come up. It'll tell you there's only Connor. Thank you. This is fucking awesome. Does it earn mint status, or have they always mint is ten. been mints? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Get me out of here! <laughs> I'm in this plastic sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could see him. Yeah, he, yeah. dude, him he, being an, like a flat, inanimate object. Dude, I, I could see him getting stuck in like you know how Winnie the Pooh's house just has those circle windows. And ben Mintz will get his hand stuck in a jar of honey by the time he <laughs> is done with Barstool. <laughs> He's built for that. Oh yeah, yeah it's been in here. <laughs> <laughs> mince there's a jar now of honey I, on your oh i know now i want that like i want his yeah fist and honey we got we just got to start putting pots of honey around dude you see me just keep fucking rubbing my divot lip divot it is driving me okay, fucking yeah. insane your lip divot is this is so your lip sick, divot dude. is Thank slightly you. out of the I ordinary really i can't this. breathe <laughs> Dude, I don't know, like... There is, like, auditory I footage was, of me dying. I was pissed at you for ruining my show. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm like, oh, but Kyle is, like, struggling to do what people do, what babies do, what newborns do without any... You don't have to be taught. You don't... It's... I Forgetting how to walk is more understandable. I was in a location that doesn't even have an address because it's so secluded and remote in Alaska, and I was like karate i was i don't know i was having a fit over like because i have no one to blame yeah that's what makes me the most mad when like my headphones get tangled to a point of uh i don't i don't know who's to blame i'm, I'm looking at my diagnosis who's to right blame now. for the audio issues it's probably me right yeah. for your breathing yeah, but like the, you always well, find not, not who, you always what's, find what's to blame it's because how does it happen it's, every time and every time we go in with a different plan like we got it and then it we're good we're good we're good well, you we, guys it, don't go in with a different plan you guys Fasoli laughs you every time it's, it's the Fasoli, same way yeah. there's, there's not a different plan keep close to the a mouth. different plan dude we did a um <laughs> we did like a man on the street at the uh, alaska state fair interviewing this woman that submitted like the alaska's largest bean which was like this big <laughs> She was the only person that submitted. It was a small bean. That was Alaska's largest bean. But uh, we were doing a back and forth interview with her and Kyle just wasn't moving. It was it was the worst. I'm excited to review the game tape on that one. I think we're going to do like a Madden breakdown of like you. You're uh, you're 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 so quick to point out any not just mine, anyone's flaws. No, I'm not. Errors, flubs. But this was like it's your favorite thing one. to be the first this one to point big. out someone's flaw. This and was, obviously I got done with the it interview was the, it and was I, always, the boys I, I the knew camera. it was cumbersome to pass the mic and I knew I was, wasn't doing a great job. And after that, I was like, this is my job. Like, I'm like, I hold that in high regard. And then immediately, no, you are the worst mic passer. And I said, let's review that tape. That'll be fun. But I thought of it content first. You just provide more content and I'm appreciative. You're not, you don't fuck up a lot. You have a spreadsheet, don't you? Of your fuck you have ups? a spreadsheet of all of my like Don't. every single one of Don't. I look up to you. Metaphorically. <laughs> You're stout. <laughs> that would be literally. <laughs> no, I don't look up to you literally. Idiot. 
I don't look up to you literally. Looking up literally would be doing this with your head. Right. So that would be a height thing. Metaphorically. I, I would look, I metaphorically look up to you. I, what? What? <laughs> I think you're wrong there. No, I'm not. The metaphorically would be you, I don't know. Well, literally looking up to you would be what you're doing via the height difference. No, I'd be looking down. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um, I don't, that, that's making the spreadsheet. How about you do an ad on HelloFresh for us? Do we have the read? Yeah. Do you have a pack schedule this fall? HelloFresh makes it, is meals covered and with a weekly selection of 30 recipes and 70 plus convenience items. Uh, I like the, uh, the gourd soup. I've always liked the gourd, the summer nut squash. Thank you. The et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. That's right. But you are a disgusting piece of shit. <laughs> a, if you, oh. if you order all your meals. Yeah. Not just like it's I'm like guilty stupid, of it. like monetarily, you are dif- disgusting to wait on a delivery driver yeah. or bicyclist to deliver every one of your meals. You are repulsive. Have you ever gotten um, a DoorDash guy that walked? Yeah, you, uh, can, yeah. yeah, often. I do it every day. <laughs> I use like DoorDash and Seamless. And, and you get a walker? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash story16. Use code STORY16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes, three free gifts. HelloFresh.com, STORY16. It's the fall. Like the, the best meals are during the fall. Dude. They the, have the seasonal packages. The first result for lip divot sweating, menopause. <laughs> God damn it. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, or HIV. So fingers mm. crossed for, for menopause. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is scary. Antidepressants, painkillers. The, mm. Well, I'm looking up symptoms for my issues and your breathing. Of, it says death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, can't breathe. Death. So yeah, <laughs> death versus a a thing that you can't genetically achieve. Yeah. Okay. I need. They said put deodorant on the face. Please right. do that, just in case. Just you gotta. You gotta. It, it would honestly smell good too. People should just deodorize their upper well, entire lip. body. Yeah. Or yeah, sure. Yeah, not a bad idea. Um, what else is going on, friend? I was thinking about, like, we're struggling to write these news jokes. Yeah. I was thinking about a, a content video we did. At the time, I think we thought it was funny, creative, clever. Looking back, it was the worst. What was it? Can you guess? Clever and funny. I haven't watched it back. This is not. We I think we thought it was at the time, but this is uh, abhorrent. The pork off. <laughs> That's a good one. That was bad. We'll get to that. It's similar era, maybe a couple weeks before that or a week. A bad video. That it was did? a live stream. <laughs> it was, no, it wasn't the snake video. Oh, yeah. uh, angst, angst for the boys. No. It was the bob off. Oh, yeah, dude. That was like the first week of COVID. And we had a bob, a, a bobbing for apples competition. Yeah. And we I to... had COVID at the time. I didn't know. And you, or, I gave what, it to, or was I gave it good? to you because we just bobbed for apples. We put a what was it? We had a competition who could bob for apples and whoever got the most apples. No, we put a variety of produce there. Yeah. Fruits and vegetables. It was bad. It was bad. But we were so it was like there was nothing. I was like brand new at Barstool. Um, we were just trying. We were to think- trying to solidify ourselves as a duo. Yeah, maybe so, it wasn't bad. So we had the bob off, and then the loser had to do a puzzle with tongs. That's funny in a oven mitt. Yeah, no, that was okay. We used to do live streams for like six hours, like blackout drunk, and just would have guys go live with us and just show us their ankle. That, and- was, that was a good thing. <laughs> do we have the footage of that? No, dude, that, it's that, gone. From, I'm fine with dude, that. Dude, and just like we like we were. Kind of acting like radio hosts that like wouldn't get to the point. Like, you know, when people call in are like, hey, man, how are you? Yeah, good, good, good. What do you want? What do you want? Uh, we were just like, go live when they were like, hey, guys. And we we're like, ankle, ankle, ankle. And they would just show up with an ankle yeah. and then they'd, we'd boot them. <laughs> we did that for like six hours. Six hours. We were trying so hard because like all the rage, like at the beginning of COVID was like going live. Yeah. Um, we like uh, people Lights, were Camera, Barstool was doing live like watch alongs. Everyone was trying everything. Yeah. And that was like the formation of the dozen and uh, fictional debates. Anus. Um, 
But like yeah. the one live we tried to do is uh, <laughs> we've I, we've talked about it before. Snake Sunday or it was it was close to the 4th of July when we went up to Walmart and bought a bunch of snakes <laughs> like the things the that you light and they turned to like like black black dicks yeah um and <laughs> we went out to the baseball field cuz you know you don't want to start a forest fire with snakes and uh we're trying to light them live and we were like ma- I made a graphic for snake sunday and we just couldn't get it to light. It was Saturday. We didn't light it. I kept on, and we realized it was fucking Saturday at the end of it. Snake Sunday. There is footage somewhere. If anybody has footage of Snake Sunday, that was, God, yeah, we had a lot of misses. But like everybody was just throwing so much shit out so quickly. And people were so, we, we started doing content at the right time because we were allowed to be bad because people were so everyone yeah it was just like people like putting a picture of like an ice cream truck and you're like one one ice cream snack has to go yeah that was like the The, content (laughs) of the day everyone was debating it would like trend yeah and then we were like the yak was like our thing and then like we weren't on it we just weren't on it for three months and then people would just be like i miss those fucking days just like yeah (laughs) Yeah, people, and that was like the. I was like, okay, I'm off the yak temporarily, and then mm-hmm. everyone was like, these are the best yaks ever, Big Cat and Row, which is they were good, they were good, they were yeah, great, but it was just like, so what's my value? Yep, you, me, and you, right? And dude, like I, uh, like I said, I had just started at Barstool, so it was crazy. I like I had nothing. I, I didn't know, know anybody. Better or worse? Probably worse, dude. Yeah, when you your you want to integrate yourself, yeah. <laughs> I like just got the job here and I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm on the yak. And then I got, I, I was like home. looking through pictures and I saw a selfie that I took of me and you at like the palace of gold. Yeah, dude. And uh, we look like vastly different humans. For real? Sure. Like in a better way? Or we, I look, I just look fat as fuck. You were fat as fuck on one I of the know. Decembering, lo- this December, December lowering you just the look, bars. But you look like a, like a dip. Like, look at this. I look that just looks like me. You no, look it fat as I fuck. do look fat as fuck. Oh my god, that's dude. not what you look like. I yeah, I was I that was is oh shocked. And the worst part is like d- at the time I had no idea. Oh, dude, you I look, like you look horrible. I took that picture of myself and saved it. And I was like, because, this is, yeah, this is a funny picture of me and Nick. I had no idea I looked that is a dude, this doesn't even look that like is you. A, Send this so we can put oh, it up. Oh my god. Picture. It's not just fat, it's like it's fat and gross. It's like fat and the like, Almost. What's your passcode? Oh. Um. Yeah, we'll text it. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, that was. Dude, that you. This is you, disgusting. <laughs> I don't even like feel any like positive emotion about like defeating that. I just that's no me. that you the should. The fact that that was me ever is just more than enough reason for me to hate you myself. You look really good it. now, but like I didn't. Like, I always. But like, this if I look is, back, that you're right now is how I picture you. Yeah, I'm just like every time I look at it, I find a different. Like, I'm not just fat, <laughs> your nose my, is super wide. My nose is skewed. Like, my <laughs> eyes are off centered. Like, my bottom lip is just so chapped. <laughs> and at, I remember at the time, I never like I I would look in the mirror, I would do, use the bathroom three times a day plus, and I never was like, yeah, that's a problem. You would have like three tall twisted teas for breakfast. Yeah. I didn't know like what calories were. You when yeah, when did vanity strike you? Um, it was more like a health. Like oh I want to I don't want to feel miserable. Were you feeling miserable? I was and I didn't realize how so until I got a little bit healthier. That is the most that does not look like you. Yeah. That looks like me. I think you No, it doesn't. You look like a kid, like a weird kid. How was quarantine for you? Oh, yeah. Uh, what were you doing at the time? At the time, I was working like 12 hours a day for an accounting firm, and then I would just smoke weed at night. And then this one night, I smoked so much that I convinced myself that I had autism. Yeah. And then I quit weed, and that was my quarantine, quitting, quitting pot. Right. Okay. What, what did that involve? Yeah, just not doing it. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> not a thing. Playing yeah. playing Fortnite without weed, and then yeah, my Fortnite. quarantine was not being Muslim. That, <laughs> that just took up the whole quarantine. It took up. D- woke up. Yeah. Yeah, day yeah. To, uh, yeah. Sunrise to sunset. I wish I liked video games enough for it to like pass the time. I was so fucking bored on uh, this past Saturday, and I didn't want to go out because I had a pimple on my nose. Um. Tea tree oil kind of put it down a little bit, but it has an odor. Um, but 
I was so fucking bored. I just took four Advil PMs and just went to bed because I don't really like weed. I hate that feeling. Just being bored. So you no, like the Advil PM feeling. I do too. Yeah, I do too. Because then I, I was scared. I was just like, what? What's? I fell asleep too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. what happened last night? Did I fucking sleep? <laughs> what oh, the fuck yeah. happened? Why am I so Did refreshed? You how, get ghosted by a date? Yeah. Yeah. What? I was I actually, I was going to bring it was, that up. It was, it was hard to even read. Wait, yeah. recently? It was like these quintessential. It, it happened last Sunday or Monday. I forget when I tweeted it out, but uh, I basically got a text from a girl after I followed up with her saying, let's get drinks. She said, hi, I know this is awkward. What do you me mean followed say. up? Did you already get, do something with her? Yeah. We hung out all Saturday night. Like she was mm. like, take me out for sushi. She took you out for sushi. No, no, no. We were at a bar. Okay. So okay. I'm at a bar with my friends. How'd you yeah. meet her? At this bar? At the bar. Okay. Yeah. It was like a friend of a friend. Oh, you met her at the, okay. Met her at the bar. We're talking all night. She's like, yeah, you can take me out. Right. So I follow up that Monday or Tuesday and she hits me with, hi, I know this is awkward of me to say, but I had a ton of fun Saturday, but don't really see something more than friendship between us. That's a girl who gets off on doing that. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. she did not have to say that. It, no. was, it sounds like it was a drunken conversation where you guys j agreed to hang out again. Yeah, it was. Well, we spent like four hours together. Are you saying that as if it was a lot or a little? A lot. Oh, it, I felt like it was a long. We kind of, I don't know. Did a you drunk? click? Did I what? Did you click? Yeah, we clicked. Yeah, clicked, yeah. She, she was like very proper. You did, you did. I was. What being, do you mean proper? I don't. She have like those long gloves on, dude. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> she, she, yeah. I, I, she was smoking the longest fucking cigarette. I don't know, but I do have. <laughs> I have a follow up um, because this isn't the oh, first. You're time. making this sound oh, like a so doctor's she, appointment. She sent that to you. You tweeted it. Does she know like you're in your social media? Uh, I don't think she saw the tweet. Okay, but she probably did. A lot of my best content comes from that kind of pain. Yeah, well, definitely. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Mm. But so I needed help because I've been friend zoned by too many girls at this point. So I reached out to someone, and I would like to let you guys know, and you guys can help yeah. me with this. Uh, so I sent an email. <laughs> oh no! Oh boy! Yeah, wrong email. <laughs> Dear Mister Nadu, <laughs> <laughs> no right, way. right, right, right. I only care about four things in this world: beer, pussy, comedy, and podcasting. Mm -hmm. I am having issues. Weird, you though. just didn't lump that in with comedy. Yes, appreciate well, it. Well, they're two separate things. Oh, you're right. Yeah, get get to know and. <laughs> I said the pussy part is missing, not by choice, as at times I find myself nuclear horny. The problem, you ask, I keep getting my bitch taken. It happens over and over again, whether it's at the bar by a guy named Derek wearing Kith or some dude named Jeff who's in her spin class or by my roommate Michael who's boning Becca behind my back for two months now while I finish episodes of The Great British Bake Off. I've lost four and a half bitches this year alone. <laughs> I metaphorically can't find them. They've been taken, Liam Neeson style. My <laughs> question's for you. Number one, how do I keep a bitch? Number two, how do I prevent other dudes from taking my pussy? Number three, <laughs> when your bitch is taken, what can you do to recover? Please, Jeff, you are my only hope. There's I need some no way he did not respond to this. Oh, he yeah. responded 25 <laughs> minutes later. <laughs> In email time, that's instantaneous. In, In email, yeah. yes. And here's his Does reply. He, did you know each other? No. I sent it from like a burner email, like an old email. <laughs> He's res so respect. He, yeah. So he said, well, from this email, I can tell you are a total simp. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, He's the man. Yeah. I'd have been left that broad and moved on to her friend and made sure she knew. Clearly, she isn't loyal to you and lacks respect for you. You also seem to lack confidence. Walk into your favorite spot with your head high, fresh to death in clothes and confidence. Don't act weird. Be subtle and kind and charming. Women love that. Don't take no shit. You keep a chick through communication, maturity, and with your wallet and your tongue, bro. Pretty simple. You got this. Jeff. That's really nice. That was of him. kind of wholesome. Yeah, it was super like, wholesome. He's a man. Yeah. I always thought that about him. But yeah, I love good, him more. Yeah, no, he's a great guy. The fact that he would an answer like kind a of, was kind of rant. good advice. It too. was good advice. Well, with your tongue and your wallet, bro. Yeah. I mean, yes, yes. I don't eat pussy. Just don't confuse him. She's like, she'll get Velcro burns on her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I was going to let, see if you guys wanted to respond to Jeff. It's up to you though. <sighs> that, no, that's you. 
That's all. Matt. I want you to I keep th- this going and have an update every week. No, I think. Okay. Well, he's going to find out about it now. Will he though? Yes. Um, I, is he going to like come for me? I don't know. No, he's not going to come for he you because this is a true story. All right. Yeah, yeah just don't, don't. Don't tell him we did this. And Connor, this is also not like we're not pranking Jeff. I, this is it's also real. <laughs> it is real. Yeah, yeah. It's legitimately real. It's yeah. So real. yeah, he won he, his advice. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it it was good advice. So good on him. That might be some content ideas for him when he starts here. You should yeah. relationship. You advice. should text mm-hmm. uh, Dave Portnoy. I have his number. Honestly, Kyle. Oh, yeah. I'm so jealous. So Rudy was live streaming. Rudy has yeah. a really good live stream. Uh, he one of his like. Uh, bare, uh, tears of like subscribers yeah. he text Dave for a raise and I was like I wish I could do that because I you know I make the joke I've never spoken to Dave uh, not not joke I make the Same. serious that I, uh, I've never yeah. spoken to Dave <laughs> and I don't have his phone number and you do I do and I kind of want you to text him right now Fuck. I want you to send him a meme <laughs> <laughs> like what I don't want it to be too like I don't want it to be too ridiculous like an old meme no not like something I want it to be semi Dallas Cowboy fan starter pack. <laughs> and just be like, ha ha, reminded me, ha ha, thought, think you'd like that, thought you'd like this. <laughs> Don't do it. Are you going to? Wait, Wait while you find it, uh, speaking of uh, football, uh, I don't know how to do this segue. Uh, your favorite team is sometimes losing and then sometimes they come back and win. Uh, the the greatest comeback being the Patriots coming back against the Falcons. Mm-hmm. Until now, there is a greater comeback. Today's episode, uh, brought to you by BetterHelp. Oh, we got them. Yeah. We nabbed them. Yeah. We nabbed them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my <laughs> Let's God. Let's go. And, now, this is a mental health. Ha- Mental health. That's right. Can be tough to do train pulmonary your brain. health. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, now I'm like hearing myself breathe. <laughs> don't. Ignorance is bliss. Don't fucking mention it. it it'll help you find your own solutions. It uh, gives you a better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or how small. Uh, you know, I use better help to find the doctor that prescribed me boys. Mm-hmm. Now, leave. do they have a review option because leave them a five-star review and say, thanks fi- for helping me discover my like prescription of little boys yeah 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 i will say that um, it's convenient accessible affordable and entirely online get matched with a therapist for filling out brief uh after filling out a brief survey uh and guys uh that's actually a- dope because like my only issue with going to a therapist is person. having to see them yep. physically yep so this is a good option i wouldn't tell them shit uh, but on, over the phone, yeah, mm. I'll do it. Uh, when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can help you get there. Visit betterhelp.com slash new. I don't think anybody's used promo code new with us before. N- N-E-W. Uh, N-E-W. 10% off your first month. Better com slash new. Let's go. Do you find the Cowboys meme? It is. Are you I going did, to send it and I remember one? this is actually like the best starter pack, like the most accurate. The Cowboys starter pack. Dude, my lip, it's like, I don't know what. I don't know if it's I'm touching it or maybe I'm finally growing hair in between. I'm going, I'm driving, I'm getting, still thinking about I'm going that? insane. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't stress that one enough. Uh, you, most people like in like would one up their co-host. You are like 50 downing me. <laughs> you should come out with oh, merch. Oh yeah, Kyle. you can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> one small part of me is a little damp. Like the most insignificant, <laughs> inconsequential part of the human body ever. <laughs> Yeah. T shirts come. Yeah. Yeah. T shirts. Yeah. Dude, we were supposed to come we were supposed to uh have Beau Regard sweatshirts. They were gonna be purple and it would we, be stitched and tweeted the design. You tweeted it oh when you made it and it looked sick. Well, Everyone no, was like there was another one. We wanted like stitched like college style sweatshirts. Yeah. Stitched letters. Mm-hmm. They're like the boy dad hoodies. Like those are cool, like stitched letters. <laughs> they sent back, they were like yeah, it looks good, but we can't do purple. <laughs> so I was like, they sent, they sent us a gray sweatshirt that says Beauregard. Like, Jesus. Uh, dude. Uh, so we're not putting those out. They but don't, yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> what's that? What's that Heather Gray Beauregard shirt you're wearing? <laughs> oh, you know, like the chick from. <laughs> yeah, it's not even. But then they also like I wanted it to be across the chest. And like, oh, the boy dad ones took a long time. We can we can do this. And it just said Beauregard stitched like three inches long. <laughs> yeah, it's I saw it. It's bad. Yeah. Just it's horrible. It's bad. It is Fine. so bad. Um, we need to start putting out like good looking merch. 
I want to do a news logo jerk, uh, 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 merch. Yeah. 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 That'd be cool. Um, are you doing it? Are you going to text Dave? The, the, the cowboy started back is kind of funny. It's like the guy with like the, <laughs> like the stupid fade haircut, the long jean Gene shorts, shorts yeah. the team Jordans and like the off brand, like cheap Ezekiel Elliott. Like the jersey. iron on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Dave would like it. <laughs> Fuck. He, he's like, he's hates the Cowboys or just kind don't think so not a rival no of the patriots no no i think he's just be like i think you should just be like football season's coming up <laughs> just be like thought you'd want to see this with football season <laughs> <laughs> so hype, bro. this Go. is like there's gonna be no payout because like he's gonna text me maybe in like maybe in like a two hours just like a question mark yeah okay I'll, i'm doing it oh. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the episode since yeah we're doing this on a tuesday this comes out on thursday maybe we'll get a response in time but it'll go right there and if those for the people listening i guess you're just gonna have to go to the youtube yeah. youtube twenty six thousand subs if we get it to 50 uh as soon as we hit 50 the first 20 dms to me on instagram we'll get kb's phone number mm-hmm. i still get texts every day so do i random numbers so do i i don't mind it i guess uh <laughs> I do. It's stop, I guess. It's kind of fun. This is unbelievable. My lip is pouring sweat in this divot. Shut the fuck. Like, <laughs> seriously, shut the fuck it's up. Bother- it's that. so bothersome. No, a, no, it's not. Yes. B- no. Is it red? It is kind of red. Is it really? Like, concerningly red. Shut up. For real? Fran called me disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she did. Somebody just sent us a podcast. Oh, I didn't just think of that abruptly or out of the like out of the blue. Like I've been thinking about this for a while. Nonstop. Somebody just sent us a podcast clip from Chicks in the Office, and it's Rhea out of nowhere, just going, "You are so disgusted by Kyle Bauer," and Fran just like giggles and (laughs) which is like I, I, a I'm like Rhea, I'm cool with her. Like she was. She was saying that as a joke. Oh, yeah. Fran's response. Not a joke. She was stern. She was completely serious. She just laughed that one. <laughs> laughed that one. Not even off. Like Just laughed. She's like laughed in agreement. And it truly. You're that- so disgusted by Kyle Bowers. Yeah. <laughs> wait, me, wait, wait. I got it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I do too. You are, you are so disgusted Why? by Kyle Bauer that <laughs> it is showing. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> She's just like. She's like, oh, got me. <laughs> what are you doing? You are so disgusted Why? by Kyle Bauer that it is showing. So disgusted Why? by Kyle Bauer that it is so disgusted Why? by Kyle Bauer that it is. Like 13 different variations of a, of a like a edit video of that. Um, <laughs> We're starting to get uh, clips of our last video from our two week trip with Donnie. The Rediscovering America, the Buffalo. Oh, of no beef. Like she was. Oh, God, t- no. She said I. She like preface that by saying I kind of resembled a bachelor. Comparison. Yeah. That's so I'm good. not mad about this. That's great. Yeah. No, they, the, are, the no. laugh was a little bit. Trent, <laughs> first off, Trent also sm- like kind of like, laughed too. <laughs> you, you really zoomed in on everybody's, everyone's, reaction. everyone's cues. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I, I talked to her about it today. She came in. I was like, what's up, Fran? And uh, I was like, Kyle's pretty mad. You called him disgusting. Or you agreed that he was disgusting. And she was like, <laughs> yeah, I just walked away. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my mom texted me about it. It was like, she, does your mom listen to chicks in the office? She, I don't know what she does, but she has her finger on the pulse, dude. But we're starting to get clips of rediscovering America from Buffalo, mm-hmm. and we're so fucking exhausted by this time. It's two weeks filming, twelve hours a day, staying in shit ass hotels, and I don't remember any of it. But a clip from the Jello Museum. We went to the Jello Museum. Spoiler, and uh, this old woman's giving us a tour. We go to the wall where Bill Cosby used to be. It's just a perfect, like, it's like unpainted. It's a perfect shape of Bill Cosby on the wall. And she was like, we don't talk about this corner. But she was trying to, like, change the subject by asking our favorite flavor of Jell-O. And you you answered blue raspberry. (laughs) But but in the weirdest way possible. I don't even remember. (laughs) I remember my answer was blue raspberry. It sure was. But this was the response. So what's your favorite flavor? I'm a blue raspberry guy. <laughs> Dude, we're on day 12, episode three of this fucking series. They're like, and I'm like, I wake up at like 7 a.m. They're like, I'm like, what do we have to do today? Because I don't, I don't look at the itinerary. They're like, we're going to the Jello Museum. And I'm like, 
I'm going to put in that much effort. <laughs> I'm going to put in Jello Museum effort. So I'm just in there just... I'm a blue raspberry guy. I was just in there spurging out. Like, I had no idea. Like, I'm a blue raspberry guy. I was like, how can I make a Jello funny? And I was like, I should say blue raspberry weird. <laughs> So, oh that, no, I'm, yeah. So I, I think if if they're down, I, I, should we change the name of Polyps to Blue Raspberry Guys? Yeah, I like that as fan <laughs> yeah. names. And also, that's not even just be like you listen thing. to Anus. I'm a Blue Ras. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Blue Raspberry Guy. <laughs> I, I just have that it. <laughs> Like we were laughing like that just like that kill that crushed but at, when i was there all i did was, I was say <laughs> something in a funny voice that is like the surface level humor of a literal newborn infant like something he would he would like coo funny and then like giggle that's what i did and everyone just cracking up like this is your best shit yeah so i think polyps are now blue raspberry guys if you guys are down you can change it around but <laughs> But in the time, I was so fucking exhausted. Just like, yeah, he's a blue, yeah, he's fucking blue, blue raspberry. Reed, yeah. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> but that'll be coming out soon. Connor, then. what do you got coming up? Uh, I know all the boys have the uh, Anus Live Show coming up. Oh we yeah, do. we do, dude. October we're gonna 5th. be fucking exhausted for that. He's, really? It's gonna he's gonna be in blue raspberry mode because we fly, we get back from New Orleans. I'll be good. We land in Philly, have a live dozen. Train from Philly to Boston. Yeah, Same I'll, day. I'll prioritize no, the live Philly's show. Philly's the fourth. Live show's the fifth. Gotcha. How do, what do you think the new submissions will be like from the Blue Raspberry guys? <laughs> Say it right. Blue Raspberry guys. <laughs> I don't think that was right. I'm a Blue Raspberry <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, the, see, that's the thing. We fucking stay up all night writing these awful news jokes, and then you could just do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> some of them, like, pe keep sending them because we will eventually do something. But with I want them. But it's harder. I want to hear your uh, uh, delivery of it, you know? Like, that's important. I can also see, like, that not working. Sure. I could see us getting there and expecting 30 minutes of submitted news jokes and have nothing. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Could work out badly, but we will have a, a barrel of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes, too. All right. Uh, no one told story 307. Thank you, guys. Merk, merk. <laughs> <laughs>